Hello and welcome to Infinity. In looking at the pre-zone thinking of darks, midtones and lights, we'll look now at using the gradient map tool, which can be used for a number of different things. So first of all, in this picture we've got a kind of a lack of darks and a lack of lights here. We can go to the gradient map. I'm going to set this up first because it comes this strange red, green, blue. So try to take the middle one, just drag it off until it disappears. Click on the left one, click on the colour, and click in the middle here and drag downwards to make that black. Click outside, so that's gone black. Click on the other end, click on the colour, click in the middle, drag upwards to make that white, and then click outside. So we've now got black to white. This is converted black to white here. So now what we're going to do is put some other points in here. So I'm going to put a point in here, just click on the line. I'll make that 20%, so I'll just roll the mouse wheel to get that to 20. And then the colour here. Now we're going to change this here down to greyness. So we can, if I put in 20 there, then it resets it to the normal position there, so it's effectively not seeing anything. Click up here. Roll the mouse wheel to make that 80, click in the colour, and here I want to make that 80. So now I've got the basic black and white. If I want to merge this into the picture or use this in for the luminosity of the picture, then I can go to the blend mode down here, change that to, where is it? There we go, luminosity. And now if I take it away, you can see there's no change because it's just affecting that. So now what I can do is I can drag these points here to change the lights and darks in there. So as I'm turning this up here, if you look up here, you can see that I'm affecting this end of the, of the spectrum. So I'm just pulling this where to where it just looks a bit better there. And then I can do the same on the other one up here. I can change that maybe just a little bit there so that's not much on that one and of course i can always go in here and change things what i can also do here uh, so i can use this just for luminosity but i can go to here and if i go to soft light then that changes the contrast again maybe i need to tweak this a little bit again here but what i'm going to do here is something else which you can't do with the luminosity blend so get that with the luminosity which that you like, the right contrast. And then go to the of this one here. Go to the colour. Change from greyness here back to RGB sliders. And now I can change the colour at that point. So for example, I'm talking down here in the darks. So if I want to make a bit of teal in there, I can turn up the blues to add blue into the darker areas. So you make it here, then take out a bit of the red. So I'll go down this in the straight line of teal. Then I can go to the other end here. And I can go to the colour here. And then I'll make this slightly orange, so I'll turn up the reds and turn down the blue towards the yellow. And this is making this warmer. So we can see now I've got a before and after there. And if I don't want to affect the midtones here, I can just put an extra point here in the middle and make that grey, because this is a contrast blend mode which ignores grey. So I'll go to the colour here, or check the position, I'll just roll the mouse wheel to make that 50, go to the colour here, and a quick way to make that grey is go down to the swatches here, and then click the midtone grey there. And then the midtones in this won't be affected, so I've just affected the darks and lights here with these colours. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.